Rock, report range status. Range is green. Stable at step three. Forty seconds. Twenty-eight. Twenty-five. Status check. Go, Alice. Go, Centaur. Go, LDCM. T minus fifteen seconds. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Have ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V rocket on the Landsat Data Continuity Mission, continuing the 40-year legacy of deserving Earth's natural resources from space. LDCM is now supersonic, coming up on max Q, and we've now passed through the region of max dynamic pressure. And the engine has throttled down to 95% thrust as expected. Everything is looking good. And the vehicle is now 13 miles in altitude, 6 miles downrange, traveling at 1,700 miles per hour. It's still operating normally at 95% thrust. Everything looking good. And we vented the center fuel tank for, to condition the propellants for center phase. Booster continues to operate normally. Good steady state thrust. Next event we're looking for is firing the pyro valve to activate the Centaur reaction control system. And we fired that valve. Loot pressure coming up, everything looking good. And engines operating normally. Vehicles accelerating smoothly, 3.3 Gs. Everything looking good. Being very small disturbances in the flight control system. Being a very smooth ride. Continuing at 95% thrust. Very little control activity on Atlas PU. And the vehicle is now 25% of liftoff weight. And we've now started a constant 5G acceleration phase. And we fire the pogo bleed valve. And you start a boost phase chill. Everything's reacting. We're now at 
4.6G limiting. We use open loop. Coming up on booster engine cutoff. We have Beco, we have staging, ignition. Full thrust. Everything is looking good. Good steady state operating levels on center coming up on fairing sep. And we have fairing separation. Two good brake wires. And we've re enabled guidance. The vehicle is now steering. Thing look at start transient. Very good start transient. And we've gone to our Z profile valve angle on Centaur PU. Going down to the lock stop. Everything is looking good. We've seen the reacting control systems firing to purge the GN2 out as well as thermal conditioning firings for the loop. And I think very good steady state operating levels for the Centaur main engine. Vehicle is flying very smooth. We're now 137 miles in altitude, 428 miles downrange, traveling at 10,400 miles per hour. Everything is looking good. Gone to close loop control and center PU, continuing to make a locks correction as expected. Parallel 10 continues to operate normally. Coming up on our telemetry format change. You're going to see very good telemetry data. And center PU is now beginning to control. Valve has come off the lock stop. And we've had the telemetry format change. Very small dropout. Centaur continues to operate normally. We're continuing to see the pre-planned firings of the reaction control system. to condition the loop and thrusters, as well as very little roll control being required. Everything looks good. And we have made the roll to Tedris. And we have a preliminary look at booster stage performance. We are plus 71 pounds of PE, but uh, represents a 0.71 sigma case. Very good performance from the booster. Our all tank continues to operate normally. PU is now controlling near nominal mixture ratio. 